An automated teller machine or automatic teller machine, also known as an automated banking machine, cash machine, cash point, cash line, minibank, bankomat or colloquially hole in the wall is an electronic telecommunications device that enables the customers of a financial institution to perform financial transactions particularly cash withdrawal, without the need for a human cashier, clerk or bank teller. According to the ATM Industry Association, there are now close to 3 million ATMs installed worldwide. On most modern ATMs, the customer is identified by inserting a plastic ATM card with a magnetic stripe or a plastic smart card with a chip that contains a unique card, number and some security information such as an expiration date or CVVC. Authentication is provided by the customer entering a personal identification number. Using an ATM, customers can access their bank deposit or credit accounts in order to make a variety of transactions such as cash withdrawals, check balances, or credit mobile phones. If the currency being withdrawn from the ATM is different from that in which the bank account is denominated the money will be converted at an official exchange rate. Thus, ATMs often provide the best possible exchange rates for foreign travelers, and are widely used for this purpose. History The idea of out-of-hours cash distribution developed from bankers' needs in Asia, Europe and North America. Little is known of the Japanese device. In the U.S. patent record, Luther George Simjian has been credited with developing the prior art device specifically his 132nd patent, which was first filed on 30 June 1960. The rollout of this machine, called Bankograph, was delayed by a couple of years, due in part to Simjian's Reflectone Electronic Sync, being acquired by Universal Match Corporation. An experimental Bankograph was installed in New York City in 1961 by the City Bank of New York but removed after six months due to the lack of customer acceptance. The Bankograph was an automated envelope deposit machine and did not have cash dispensing features. It is widely accepted that the first ATM was put into use by Barclays Bank in its Enfield Town branch in North London, United Kingdom, on 27 June 1967. This machine was inaugurated by English comedy actor Reg Varney. This instance of the invention is credited to John Shepard, Baron of printing firm De La Rue, who was awarded an OBE in the 2005 New Year Honours. This design used paper checks issued by a teller or cashier, marked with carbon-14 for machine readability and security, which in a later model were matched with a personal identification number. Shepard Barron stated, It struck me there must be a way I could get my own money, anywhere in the world or the UK. I hit upon the idea of the chocolate bar dispenser, but replacing chocolate with cash, the Barclays de la Rue machine beat the Swedish saving banks and a company called Meteor's Machine by a mere nine days and Westminster Bank Smith Industries Chubb system by a month. The online version of the Swedish machine is listed to have been operational on 6 May 1968, while claiming to be the first online cash machine in the world. The collaboration of a small startup called Spatech and Midland Bank developed a fourth machine which was marketed after 1969 in Europe and the US by the Burroughs Corporation. The patent for this device was filed on September 1969 by John David Edwards, Leonard Perkins, John Henry Donald, Peter Lee Chappell, Sean Benjamin Newcomb and Malcolm David Rowe. Both the DAX and MD2 accepted only a single-use token or voucher which was retained by the machine while the Spatech worked with a card with a magnetic strip at the back. They used principles including carbon-14 and low coercivity magnetism in order to make fraud more difficult. The idea of a pin stored on the card was developed by a British engineer working on the MD2 named James Goodfellow in 1965. 
The essence of this system was that it enabled the verification of the customer with the debited account without human intervention. This patent is also the earliest instance of a complete currency dispenser system in the patent record. This patent was filed on 5 March 1968 in the U.S. and granted on 1 December 1970. It had a profound influence on the industry as a whole. Not only did future entrants into the cash dispenser market such as NCR Corporation and IBM license Goodfellows PIN system, but a number of later patents reference this patent as prior art device. On January 9, 1969's ABC newspaper there was an article about the new Bancomit, a teller machine installed in downtown Madrid, Spain, by Banesto, dispensing 1,000 peseta bills. Each user had to introduce a security personal key using a combination of the 10 numeric buttons. In March of the same year an ad with the instructions to use the Bancomit was published in the same newspaper. Bancomit was the first cash machine installed in Spain, one of the first in Europe. Docutal United States 1969 After looking first-hand at the experiences in Europe, in 1968 the networked ATM was pioneered in the U.S. in Dallas. Texas, by Donald Wetzel, who was a department head at an automated baggage handling company called Docutal. Recognized by the United States Patent Office for having invented the ATM a Kenneth S. Goldstein and John D. White, under U.S. Patent Number 3,662,343. Recognized by the United States Patent Office for having invented the ATM network of Fred J. Gentile and Jack Wu Chang, under U.S. Patent Number 3,833,885. On September 2, 1969, Chemical Bank installed the first ATM in the U.S. at its branch in Rockville Center, New York. The first ATMs were designed to dispense a fixed amount of cash when a user inserted a specially coded card. A chemical bank advertisement boasted, on Sept. 2 our bank will open at 900 and never close again. Chemicals ATM, initially known as a docutaler was designed by Donald Wetzel and his company Docutal. Chemical executives were initially hesitant about the electronic banking transition given the high cost of the early machines. Additionally, executives were concerned that customers would resist having machines handling their money. In 1995, the Smithsonian National Museum of American History recognized Docutal and Wetzel as the inventors of the networked ATM. The IBM 2984 was designed at the request of Lloyds Bank. The 2984 cash issuing terminal was the first true ATM, similar in function to today's machines and named by Lloyds Bank. Cashpoint. Cashpoint is still her registered trademark of Lloyd's TSB in the UK. All were online and issued a variable amount which was immediately deducted from the account. A small number of 2984s were supplied to a US bank. A couple of well-known historical models of ATMs include the IBM 3614, IBM 3624 and 473X series, Diebold 10XX and Tabs 9000 series, NCR 1780 and earlier NCR 770 series. The first switching system to enable shared automated teller machines between banks went into production operation on February 3, 1979 in Denver, Colorado, in an effort by Colorado National Bank of Denver and Cransley and Company of Cherry Hill, New Jersey. The newest ATM at Royal Bank of Scotland allows customers to withdraw cash up to £100 without a card by inputting a six-digit code requested through their smartphones. Location ATMs are placed not only near or inside the premises of banks, but also in locations such as shopping centers, malls, airports, grocery stores petrol, gas stations, restaurants, or anywhere frequented by large numbers of people. There are two types of ATM installations. 
on and off premises. On premises ATMs are typically more advanced, multi function machines that complement a bank branch's capabilities and are thus more expensive. Off premises machines are deployed by financial institutions and independent sales organizations where there is a simple need for cash, so they are generally cheaper single function devices. In Canada, ATMs not operated by a financial institution are known as white-label ABMs. In the U.S., Canada and some Gulf countries, banks often have drive-through lanes providing access to ATMs using an automobile. Many ATMs have a sign above them, indicating the name of the bank or organization owning the ATM and possibly including the list of ATM networks to which that machine is connected. ATMs can also be found in railway stations and metro stations. In recent times, countries like India and some countries in Africa are installing ATMs in rural areas which are solar-powered and do not require air conditioning. Financial networks Most ATMs are connected to interbank networks, enabling people to withdraw and deposit money from machines not belonging to the bank where they have their accounts or in the countries where their accounts are held. Some examples of interbank networks include NICE, Pulse, Plus, Cirrus, AFFN, Interact, Interswitch, Star, Link, Megalink and Bankneet. ATMs rely on authorization of a financial transaction by the card issuer or other authorizing institution on a communications network. This is often performed through an ISO 8583 messaging system. Many banks charge ATM usage fees. In some cases, these fees are charged solely to users who are not customers of the bank where the ATM is installed. In other cases, they apply to all users. In order to allow a more diverse range of devices to attach to their networks, some interbank networks have pass rules expanding the definition of an ATM to be a terminal that either has the vault within its footprint or utilizes the vault or cash drawer within the merchant establishment, which allows for the use of a script cash dispenser. ATMs typically connect directly to their host or ATM controller on either ADSL or dial-up modem over a telephone line or directly on a leased line. Lease lines are preferable to plain old telephone service lines because they require less time to establish a connection. Less trafficked machines will usually rely on a dial-up modem on a POTS line rather than using a leased line. Since a leased line may be comparatively more expensive to operate compared to a POTS line, that dilemma may be solved as high-speed Internet VPN connections become more ubiquitous. Common lower-level layer communication protocols used by ATMs to communicate back to the bank include SNA over SDLC, TC500 over Async, X25, and TCP IP over Ethernet. In addition to methods employed for transaction security and secrecy, all communications traffic between the ATM and the transaction processor may also be encrypted using methods such as SSL. Global use There are no hard international or government compiled numbers totaling the complete number of ATMs in use worldwide. Estimates developed by ATMIA place the number of ATMs in use currently at over 2.2 million, or approximately one ATM per 3,000 people in the world. To simplify the analysis of ATM usage around the world, financial institutions generally divide the world into seven regions. Due to the penetration rates, usage statistics, and features deployed, four regions have high numbers of ATMs per million people. Despite the large number of ATMs, there is additional demand for machines in the Asia, Pacific area as well as in Latin America. ATMs have yet to reach high numbers in the Near East and Africa. One of the world's most northerly installed ATMs is located at Longyearbyen, Svalbard, Norway. The world's most southerly installed ATM is located at McMurdo Station, located in New Zealand's Ross Dependency, in Antarctica since 1997.
There are two ATMs at McMurdo, but only one active at any time, that are owned by Wells Fargo and serviced once every two years by NCR. According to international statistics, the highest installed ATM in the world is located at Nathu La Pass, in India, installed by the Indian Axis Bank at 4,023 meters. According to the mainland Chinese media and CPC statistics, the highest installed ATM in the world is located in Nagchu County, Tibet, China, at 4,500 meters, allegedly installed by the Agricultural Bank of China. Israel has the world's lowest installed ATM at Ein Bokak at the Dead Sea, installed independently by a grocery store at 421 meters below sea level. While ATMs are ubiquitous on modern cruise ships, ATMs can also be found on some U.S. Navy ships. Hardware An ATM is typically made up of the following devices. CPU, magnetic or chip card reader, pin pad EEP4, manufactured as part of a secure enclosure, secure crypto processor, generally within a secure enclosure, display, function key buttons or a touch screen, record printer, vault, housing, sensors and indicators. Due to heavier computing demands and the falling price of personal computer-like architectures, ATMs have moved away from custom hardware architectures using microcontrollers or application-specific integrated circuits and have adopted the hardware architecture of a personal computer, such as USB connections for peripherals, Ethernet and IP communications, and use personal computer operating systems. Business owners often lease ATM terminals from ATM service providers, however based on the economies of scale, the price of equipment has dropped to the point where many business owners are simply paying for ATMs using a credit card. New Ada voice and text-to-speech guidelines imposed in 2010, but required by March 2012 have forced many ATM owners to either upgrade non-compliant machines or dispose them if they are not upgradable, and purchase new compliant equipment. This has created an avenue for hackers and thieves to obtain ATM hardware at junkyards from improperly disposed decommissioned ATMs. The vault of an ATM is within the footprint of the device itself and is where items of value are kept. Script cache dispensers do not incorporate a vault. Mechanisms found inside the vault may include dispensing mechanism, deposit mechanism including a check processing module and bulk note acceptor, security sensors, locks journaling systems, many are electronic or a solid-state device which accrues all records of activity including access timestamps, number of notes dispensed, etc. This is considered sensitive data and is secured in similar fashion to the cash as it is a similar liability. ATM vaults are supplied by manufacturers in several grades. Factors influencing vault grade selection include cost, weight, regulatory requirements, ATM type, operator risk avoidance practices and internal volume requirements. Industry standard vault configurations include underwriters laboratories ALT 291, business hours, and level 1 safes, RAL TL30 derivatives and SEN N11431, SEN IE and SEN IV. ATM manufacturers recommend that an ATM vault be attached to the floor to prevent theft, though there is a record of a theft conducted by tunneling into an ATM floor. Software With the migration to commodity personal computer hardware, standard commercial, off-the-shelf operating systems, and programming environments can be used inside of ATMs. Typical platforms previously used in ATM development include RMX or OS2. Today the vast majority of ATMs worldwide use a Microsoft Windows operating system, primarily Windows XP Professional or Windows XP Embedded.
A small number of deployments may still be running older versions of Windows OS such as Windows NT, Windows CE, or Windows 2000. There is a computer industry security view that general public desktop operating systems have greater risks as operating systems for cash dispensing machines than other types of operating systems like real-time operating systems. Risks Digest has many articles about cache machine operating system vulnerabilities. Linux is also finding some reception in the ATM marketplace. An example of this is Banri Sul, the largest bank in the south of Brazil, which has replaced the MS-DOS operating systems in its ATMs with Linux. Banco do Brasil is also migrating ATMs to Linux. Indian-based Vortex Engineering is manufacturing ATMs which operate only with Linux. Common application layer transaction protocols, such as Diebold 91X and NCRNDC or NDC Plus provide emulation of older generations of hardware on newer platforms with incremental extensions made over time to address new capabilities. Although companies like NCR continuously improve these protocols issuing newer versions, most major ATM manufacturers provide software packages that implement these protocols. Newer protocols such as IFX have yet to find wide acceptance by transaction processors, with the move to a more standardized software base. Financial institutions have been increasingly interested in the ability to pick and choose the application programs that drive their equipment. WOSA XFS, now known as Sen XFS, provides a common API for accessing and manipulating the various devices of an ATM. J XFS is a Java implementation of the Sen XFS API. While the perceived benefit of XFS is similar to the Java's write once, run anywhere mantra, often different ATM hardware vendors have different interpretations of the XFS standard. The result of these differences in interpretation means that ATM applications typically use a middleware to even out the differences between various platforms. With the onset of Windows operating systems and XFS on ATMs, the software applications have the ability to become more intelligent. This has created a new breed of ATM applications commonly referred to as programmable applications. These types of applications allows for an entirely new host of applications in which the ATM terminal can do more than only communicate with the ATM switch. It is now empowered to connect it to other content servers and video banking systems. Notable ATM software that operates on XFS platforms include Triton Prism, Diebold Agilis Empower, NCRAPTRA Edge, Absolute Systems Absolute Interact, Calcal Ignite Software Platform, Phoenix Interactive Vistom, Winkor Nixdorf Protopass, Euronet Efts and Intertech Inter ATM. With the move of ATMs to industry-standard computing environments, concern has risen about the integrity of the ATM's software stack.